Hi everyone. So today we're going to look at another problem called task scheduler. And this problem says that you are given a list of tasks and a cooling period n, and you have to schedule those these tasks in such a way that no two same tasks come adjacent before the cooling period is over. So what it means that, for example, if the task are given like this, you can only place a after if n is equals to two, which is the cooling period, you can only place A after two slots. And same thing goes for every other. So you cannot place two same tasks adjacent to each other before the cooling period is over. Now, how do we do that? Now, there is a very simple approach of solving this problem using priority queue, but uh, I'm not gonna discuss that because it's, uh, it's not that efficient. So we're going to talk about more efficient approach, uh, which is a linear approach of solving this problem. And it depends upon the frequency of each task and then picking up the task in uh, in, in a greedy manner, uh, tasks which have higher frequency first. So what it means that if you see here in this example, the the frequency of each task is like this. Three, two, one. Now, if you think about it, intuitively you can see that the task which has the highest frequency can be distributed on the timeline to, to the to the extreme ends. So A is the only task which can be plotted on this timeline to the extreme ends. Now, we have some empty slots here. How can we fill these slots? We will pick the next most frequent task, which is B, and we will place it over here. And then lastly, we'll pick C, which is the least most frequent task here, and we'll put it over here. Now the problem just reduces to finding the idle or the maximum idle time between these tasks. So finding something like these values. Now, how do you find that? As you can see that in this particular case, we have A, which is the most frequent task. It divides this timeline into two parts. These are two parts. So we can simply say that the task with most frequency minus one is equal to total parts. And the total idle time is equals to these total parts into N, which is the cooling period. So these value becomes Basically, in this particular case, it's 3 minus 1 into 2, which is equals to 4. As you can see simply from the example that we have four slots which we have to fill between these, these most frequent tasks or the most frequent task A. Now, how do we fill these idle slots? We simply sort the, the task into the reverse order or the descending order of their frequencies and we keep on picking the task with the the, the the most frequent first and reduce the total idle re, re, reduce that time into from the total idle time so what i'm saying is that for example if i pick a as the task with most frequency and plot it on the timeline the next time the, the next next task we pick is b which has the frequency of two so we reduce it from the total idle time so the next idle time becomes total idle time minus two for the value of B. So we place B here and B here, and it becomes four minus two is equals to two. Next we pick C and it becomes two minus one is equals to one. And we place C here. So in, in this way, we can say that the only time the CP will remain idle is, equ is equals to one unit. And the total time taken to schedule all these tasks is equals to is equals to total task length plus idle time remaining, which is equals to in this particular case they are total of six tasks, and we will just say the total time is six plus one is equals to seven, where one is the idle time where the CPU was idle. 
Now, there might be a case where the two tasks have same frequency. For example, in this particular case, the task didn't have the same frequency, but there might be a case where the task have same frequency, just like in the example given, we have only two tasks A and B, and they have the same frequency. In that particular case, how do we solve it? Or how do, how do we how do we make sure that the task does not basically is, is placed into the same uh, adjacent manner? So for example, if the case is like A, 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 B, 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 how do we put the task value? Or how do we put the, the task into the correct slot without making them adjacent? So in, in, it's, 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 it's gonna follow the same approach which we followed in the previous example, just a simple check. So we will place the task with the most frequent value first. We will place A. It can be B also, it doesn't matter. Now we have four slots which we have to fill. Now when we remove the value from the total idle time or we reduce the value from the total idle time, we have to check what is the minimum value. Total idle time minus the minimum of maximum frequency task minus one comma the current frequency so what this means is that we can only take maximum occurrence of current task based on the maximum frequency task so if the maximum frequency task is three then we can only take two occurrence of current task two occurrence of current task so if if we have placed a here and we are placing b and b has a frequency of 3 we cannot reduce 3 from the total idle time because this will mean that we are placing b like this instead what we'll be checking is what is the maximum frequency task we have taken, which is A here and the frequency is three. So we can place only two occurrences of B here. So we'll place B and B. And the remaining B can be placed somewhere after A, maybe here. So this is the condition we have to check when there they, they are tasks with same frequency. Now I will make this more clear when I, I code this problem and show you how it actually works. So let's say first we calculate the frequency of each task. So let's let's just find the length of this first task. Not length. Twenty six. So this 26 says that there are 26 characters because each task can be from A to Z, A to Z, which is total 26. Then we will run a loop for all these tasks and we'll count the frequency. So this simply does, what it does is just take, takes the sky value of each character and reduce A and just find the index value or index value in the array and just increment it by one. And we also find the max frequency. And the max frequency here is math.max comma count t minus a. Now we sort this count this sort in ascending order. But remember that we have to pick in descending order, so we'll just start from the end. So if if I just show you what exactly this array looks like to make it more clear, let me just quickly print this array for you. Also print the maximum frequency task. What did I do wrong? Variable n is already defined. Oh, 
So we cannot take this n because n is already given as a cooling period. So we'll take something like this. So as you can see, the air is printed in the assorted order and the maximum frequency task is three. Now we will take a variable called the total idle time. Idle time zero, for example, right now. Now, what should the total idle time? Based on the formula, it should be max frequency minus one into n, which is the cooling period. As I, as I mentioned in the discussion that uh, the, the task with the maximum frequency divides the timeline into some parts and those parts is equals to basically the maximum frequency minus one into the cooling period gives you the total idle time. So if the maximum frequency task is A here and we have the, the total parts is equals to two and each part has two values. So the total idle time becomes four. Now, how do we place task in these idle slots that will be calculated using the next for loop? Now we start from the second last index because we, are, we have already used the last index to calculate the total idle time. Total idle time, time minus equals to math dot min max frequency minus one comma count of i. So as I, as I said that we have to use this condition so that we don't place a task adjacent to each other, especially in the case where the task have same frequency as the maximum frequency. So for example, if the tasks are given like this, or the, the example we take, let's say it's A, 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 B, 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 then we place A first, And in the second phase, when we place B, we can only take two occurrences of B because the max frequency minus one is equals to two because if we take the, 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 the count of I or the count of B as three, then it will be placing B like this, which we do not want based on the condition. So we can only place B like this. So in order to, in order to, in order to do that, we take this this condition where we check whether the the frequency uh, of the current task is is less than this value max frequency max frequency minus one, and we reduce that value from the total idle time. So when we place some other task, we can simply place that task into the remaining position. Like in this in this case, these are the two remaining positions. Now this gives us the total idle time remaining after these tasks are placed. Now this value can go in negative. So we'll just take zero comma, the total idle time, especially in cases where, where we have all the tasks with the, the, the same frequency that this value, maybe it goes in negative. So we just make sure that we don't take the value as negative because the cooling period cannot go in negative or the total idle time cannot go in negative. Now, what is the result? Result becomes total length of the task plus the total idle time. And how do we how do we see that? So, for example, if we have placed the task like this, as you can see, that there is only one idle slot, and the total total ta uh, tasks are. A, B, B, A, B, A, B. So it's like three plus two, five plus two, seven. So their total tasks are seven as given in the array. And we have basically left one idle slot just to fulfill the condition of cooling period. So if I run this, it gives the value eight, which is the correct answer. Let's submit this. And it gets submitted. So this is a very efficient way of solving this problem. And it is constant time. Oh, sorry, the, the linear time order of n, where the n is the tasks array length. And now you might be wondering that why is it linear time? Because we are sorting the value and the sorting takes n log n time. Remember that we are sorting the count array which only has length of 26 
and this is a constant time uh, this is a constant array so this sorting takes constant time so this is always be order of 26 log 26 which basically means it's constant time so this doesn't affect the the, the time complexity of the entire solution so the time complexity of the entire solution is order of n and the reason for that is because we are using this for loop to count the frequency of each task so this is how you solve this problem in an efficient way there is another way of solving this uh, using priority queue but it's not efficient uh, it's not that complex too you can just go on the web and see that solution so that's all for today thank you so much